Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman, and this is the Pizel Pizalian. Pizalians do exist. They exist at Pizel Surfboards. And this is, uh, I'm just going to throw it out there that this is, I would have to assume, John's best-selling board of all time. Uh, tons of these boards on the water, uh, both in, in PU Poly, like the one I'm holding here. Also, uh, Firewire makes uh, this board in FST construction and uh, it's a great all-around go-to shortboard uh, for small to medium waves and so you could basically use this as your as your step down shortboard you could use it as your everyday shortboard uh, super easy to paddle a uh, little bit more width and a flatter nose rocker up front uh, make this board you know you can get all over the lineup with it easy to scratch into waves with it and also really good glide across uh, across the wave what you notice, uh, and I think a lot of people coming onto this board, a lot of people will come from a hybrid style board uh, to this board and, and say, hey, it's like a super easy board to surf. I didn't remember like shortboards being that easy to surf. This board's super easy to surf and, uh, and the ability to generate speed uh, is, is there. Like the ability to go rail to rail and, and generate like a, a lot more speed than your hybrid is there on, on this board, primarily because of the the boards being this board being narrower than a than a standard hybrid you can go rail to rail faster and then it's just going through the water faster than your than your hybrid would when you're looking at uh at pisalians a lot of them are out there as a squash tail uh swallow tail is is also an option and you're going to see five fins on this board uh or five fin option on this board quite often uh because it does work really well as a thruster um, and as a quad fin, you notice that the tail is, uh, it's got, it's definitely got some tail area on it. Like the tail block's pretty wide. It's got a good amount of width, like at the front fins. And uh, this board can de definitely, when you want it to, this board could definitely generate uh, a lot of extra speed. Because of the range of surf um, that this board works in, it's a really good pair up with uh, the future fins and the, and the ride number in the, in the middle of the ride scale. So these are the Geordi largest that I have in mind and that's a ride number of four to seven. So that's a good, not only a good like middle of the middle of the road ride number as far as like middle of the road surf, but also you could basically leave those fins in there and, and they'll work basically in anything that you're gonna get this board into um, and do a really good job of it. This board I would say, you know, for a good shortboard surfer, you could ride this, you could ride this board as small as the waves will break. Uh, and then up to, uh, I'd say up to solid head high. It's like absolutely no problem. Even a foot overhead is going to be no problem with, with a hollow section to it. Um, if you're coming onto this board from a hybrid, you're going to want to have, you know, somewhere in the probably I'd say thigh range before like you're going to start liking it better than, uh, than some of your more kind of grovel oriented boards, like kind of thigh to waist is where it's going to really get into its range. And feel better but for somebody that's riding shortboards all the time this could be your small wave shortboard and and you'll absolutely love it uh a good friend uh that i met in down in uh las flores in el salvador jim cicero he was riding his uh Pizalian basically the whole trip and we had depending on the tide anywhere from like barely breaking like knee to thigh high all the way up to head high and, and a little bit overhead on the sets and he rode his Pizalian really really well throughout the entire trip um his his was a uh, uh, he was a little bit shorter than me he, he was riding a five six and uh was just really impressed the range that he was able to make that board work in uh i've been riding this board here on the better days in the summer like on the smaller days i've been riding a lot of uh the rat skull and also the pizel nugget this has been you know for a little bit better surf kind of like for me like in the waist and above range and uh and have really been impressed with the with the amount of speed that the board can generate and the liveliness of it, especially when you're coming off of a hybrid, you get on this thing and it's, it's just that much faster and that much more lively uh, rail to rail. And obviously the turns are gonna be better as well. There's, no, there's much less swing weight up forward on the board. The uh, going to the swallowtail, it takes a little bit of the area out of the back of the board and it's gonna give it a little bit more bite, a little bit more hold in the wave. Uh, again, having ridden this board as a quad and a tri, it does work well. Um, I really like these fins a lot. Like I've, I've actually kept this set of fins and run them across a bunch of different boards. So as far as like a good mid-range fin 
Uh, if you're a bigger surfer, um, the Jordy Large is a really good, reliable fin. It'll, it'll cover you in a lot of different conditions. A really a good workhorse set of fins to have in your quiver. So the, another thing to note on these boards is that the noted thickness is going to be, or the noted thickness on the label or in, in the listing of the board is probably going to be thinner than what your standard dims are. And that's because of the board having a pretty flat deck profile and a, and a, a thicker rail, um, especially right in here. And so typically, like most of my boards are two and three quarters thick, or maybe even a little bit thicker than that. And this board, it's like 2.68. So it's like another eighth of an inch thinner. Um, and that is because it's bringing the volume all the way out to the rails, like with a little bit flatter deck profile. So don't, don't be afraid if it looks thin, like on paper, it'll, it'll actually have the same amount of volume. So it's the Pizel, Pizalian, great workhorse shortboard for your quiver. Going to work from the small, you know, the small shortboard waves all the way up to every day, like, you know, shoulder to head high. Uh, you know, really good board and one of Pizel's best selling boards ever. There's a lot of people out there that have a lot of great things to say about this board. If you have any other questions about the Pizel, Pizalian, Pizel, Pizalian, say that 10 times fast. Give us a call at the shop, 252-987-6000 or look us up online realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in.